welcome to Let's Play Pitfall for the Atari 2600 with Creeping Net. First time I've ever done this game on this channel. Pitfall is one of my favorites for the Atari 2600. And we're going to play a serious round of it. Now before we get started, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about strategy in this game. You can actually go either left or right. The traditional method, of course, is to go right, but I usually choose to go left because it's actually easier difficulty that way. I've never actually beaten this game or gone through all the screens, but we're just going to play it until we die because that's what I'm better at. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. As soon as we move the joystick, it's ready to go. Let's pump up that volume a little. Alrighty, come on. And we're, yes, we're playing this on an actual Atari 2600. One of the tricks I learned is you can actually, there's a uh, timing to these pits that you can actually just keep running across if you keep going at a steady pace. Alright. Snakes. Another pit. You have 20 minutes to gather as much treasure as you can for a high score. Anyway. Yeah. And you don't want to hit those logs or they take away your score. Used to be really good at just letting it jump back, but as you can see, everything's kind of synced to the same speed, including the logs, the pits, the vines almost are. It's kind of interesting. But once you know that fact... I played other variants of this game. Now here's the trick with the alligators. Or not. <laughs> no, what you need to do is you need to hit them right on the back of the head and they can open up and you won't fall in. But that didn't quite work this time. You know, first treasure. This is going to be just a good quick little video. No longer than... Oh, shoot. <laughs> you can tell I haven't played this in a while, can you? <laughs> Let's lose a few points and get some shaved off by the log at the corner of the screen. That was a close one. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Pitfall. Did I already say that? I'm pretty sure. And yes, we're on RF. Which, if you notice, when I play these Atari games on RF, they look actually really, really good. It gives them almost a 3D quality because of the visual artifacts that come from the RF switch setup. Which is how I prefer to play them. So I will never composite mod my Atari 2600. Ever. I know everybody's all about crisp, crisp pixels, but man, when you played this back in the day, this was what it was supposed to look like. It gave it depth. It gave it that video game look, you know, of the early 1980s. Made you want to break out your cars records, play this stuff and listen to moving in stereo. That's what this was. <laughs> and there was no power for hand holding or... Yeah, I'm doing terrible at that. I'm gonna have to practice this one some more, I think. So that's one of the tricks of it. I can also kind of show you. You can see we just run across the screen. Everything is synced up in this game. It's kind of neato. Let's see if I get killed again this time. Nope. Now here's where we got to get a little uh, more delicate. Kind of want to shoot for the full 15 minutes, but I'm not 100% sure. Or the full 20 minutes, I mean. Because you have 20 minutes to get tre treasures and go through like almost all 256 screens in this game. Well, not all 256. There's some you're supposed to skip, but I'm not very good at that. Let's see here. And that scorpion down at the bottom is incre... <sighs> that scorpion down at the bottle bottom is incredibly tough to uh, beat. Actually, let's go ahead and try playing in the right direction, which is increased difficulty and things don't sync up. 
All right, we'll go back here. We're just going to kind of wander around this go-around and just have fun. See, that scorpion is incredibly hard to jump over. You have to wait for it, and then when he's literally almost on you, you have to jump then. So as you can see, it ramps up the difficulty because you can't just run with the logs, so you lose score the more you go. And you have to enter the alligators from the dangerous end. <laughs> so let's watch this and see. Yep. And then you have to start over again from the same side, which makes it tough. So anyway, we're going to play one more round. We're going to play like three rounds of this Let's Play Till You Die thing here. kind of try and work on my scorpion game a little bit and here because this is less about high score for me this is more about trial run here's how you enter the ladder without losing points you have to stand right next to it and go down and we're gonna kind of there we go little tricky I'll come up here pop out that ladder and run that way. Yeah, I'm just trying different things here. Let's go down here again and try this out. See if we can get around that scorpion. There we go. So I'm trying to kind of get better at this game. There we go. Yep. Yeah. There we go. I'm starting to get used to his uh, clipping rectangle. Hopefully I don't miss any treasures. Ah, crap. Mm, this is a practice run. Anyway, it was a nice little uh, quickie of, well, you know what? I'm not gonna cut it short. Let's play some more and see where we end up. But yeah, this is actually the first video game I ever played. I was probably about three years old and didn't understand it. It's messed up a whole bunch and then I never wanted to play it again. Then I turned like eight and then I wanted an Atari and then I ended up with one and started playing this. He really wants in here. I think we'll let him in, but I'm going to do that after this round. Hmm. Yeah, so this is, I'm going to kind of take you down the normal route that I usually play it with. And yes, we're playing this with a regular Atari CX40 joystick too which is kind of painful to play with sometimes. The way, there you go. That's how you get past those guys. There you go. Let's see if we can make it the full 20 minutes now. Whoa. Hey, that was pretty good. To get off the vine, you press um, in the direction you want to go and down. Some people don't get that, and then they get hung up on the vine the first time they play Pitfall. It's kind of like E.T. Nobody knows that you're supposed to, uh, once you're up in the air, when you levitated, that you're supposed to stop trying to levitate and just float around. The manual clearly states that, but nobody ever really reads the manuals for Atari games, from what I can tell. Okay. Oh, that was a stupid move on my part. Okay, let's go in here. I'm going to try to see if we can last the entire period of time, if we can. I mean, we're down to 17. 
minutes. It's been a while since I've actually played this one. So. I need to find a better joystick for this. Probably should try and get another one of those tack uh, joysticks like I had, because I really like those. Those are actually kind of comfortable. Totally accurate controller. There we go. Me getting reacquainted with Pitfall. Ah. Getting resynced with the scenery. Yep, and now we'll just stand here and hopefully we don't stand right next to it. Yeah, 16 minutes left on the clock. Another fire. Let me tell you, Smokey Bear would have a field day with this landscape. Yeah, 256 screens, 20 minutes. We're at 9,000 points. So I'm actually not doing too bad this time, especially considering I haven't played this in about a bajillion years. Anyway, let's go ahead. Get through there. Just jumping over holes. Another hole. There we go. That's kind of the trick with these alligators, is you gotta flap the controller just right to get across. And something I've been doing is kind of flapping the joystick with my wrist to get it to move in the right direction. You need to get used to not having to push as hard on this. So one of the things with the Atari joysticks, they weren't exactly the most comfortable things to be playing with for the most extended periods of time. You can see we kind of got it. There we go. That's when you grab that. And lose a shave a few points off your score. Let's see if we can make it without getting put in the drink. There we go. <laughs> These are... There we go. We're at like 14 minutes. We're actually doing pretty decent this round. With a few artifacts from the Sony. There we go. But someone's going to go, that's a Magnavox. No. I'm recording this on the... Off I'm playing this through the Magnavox, but I'm actually recording it off of a Sony Betamax player. There's like literally every kind of uh, video type in my house now. So literally people could send me anything and I would probably be able to play it. There we go. Yep. Now we're racking up points. 24,960. That was a close one. 28,960. My goal this go around is just to see if we can make it till the clock is up. Ugh. Yeah, shaved off a few points with logs. Remember in the 90s when they tried to uh, bring Pitfall back, back to life um, with the Mayan Adventure? It was actually an alright little game. I liked it. I, had, I borrowed it from my Super Nintendo from Blockbuster Video. That's a very fun, finessed move for an Atari controller. Getting back acquainted with this. 
joystick insanity. Yeah, we're getting pretty far along. 28,914 and no treasures so far. I know you're supposed to use the underground, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. 30,000. I think this might be the highest score I've ever made at this game, to be completely honest. Alright. 34,000. There we go. We're getting some... Yeah, we're at the point where we can just run through that one. Yeah. Well, we're almost to half time here. 11 minutes and 39 seconds left on the clock. We're just clocking through Pitfall. And losing a few score there to the log. Taking a few risks. Sometimes you got to. Here we go. 37,000. Wow. This is like one of my best rounds of Pitfall ever. I'm glad I'm taping this. Uh, anyway. Ah. Here we go. Now we're down to 10 minutes. If we can make it that far. We'll just run through here and hopefully we don't hear the da 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 thing again. There we go. I get pretty good after a while getting right on the edge of that uh, pit and not dying. See, just like one pixel and I would be dead. There we go. We're playing this on a real 42-year-old uh, Sears Telegames video arcade. Light Sixer, of course. kind of miss my old Sunnyvale Woody though that I had years ago. Still might have the case somewhere in my childhood home, but anyway. Yeah, we're down, down the single digits of timer. Yeah, let's see how far we can get in about 20 minutes. We're yeah, getting some I'm not even sure I've made it this far before. Shit. Wow. 44,872. I'm doing pretty good. This is one of my better games on the 2600. I mean... Whoa. Alright. Not the best at avoiding the logs, though, unfortunately. Ah, 48,000. Sorry games, man. They don't like to play nice. They'll tell you when you mess up and they don't play around. Alright. Alright, another one. Down to eight minutes. This is pretty crazy. Eh. Alright, over 50,000. I don't even think I've been that high before on this score list. So, that's pretty good. Considering I haven't touched this in over about a year and a half. And played it as seriously as this. 55,826. Of course, I'm sure all those points I lost hitting all those logs add up, so... Probably would have been looking at like 60,000. There goes a few more. And just gotta keep running. There we go. I need something with a little more responsive uh, button, really. 
58,800. And we're getting up there. We're getting those treasures. Sixty-one thousand eight hundred. We're not even. That was real close. Now we're down to six minutes and thirty something seconds left on the clock. Sixty-four thousand eight hundred. It seems the treasures kind of come in little blocks here and there in this game. video footage I'm capturing kind of looks like how it did when I was growing up on that old Mitsubishi TV we had. <laughs> well, still getting up there. Now we're at 5 minutes and 43 seconds. And another log. Alright. I really wanted the goal of this video to be just to make it the full 20 minutes. I'm not even sure it's really possible to go through a full 256 screens of this game in one sitting this way. You're supposed to use the underground tunnels, but I wanted to try and see if I could do this in a way. See how far we get. Probably good them doing this anyway. It's giving some exercise to this thing. They have the cleanest RF signal on YouTube. They're under five minutes now. Four minutes and forty seconds. three minutes left. Yeah, unfortunately life calls. We'll probably do a different one that's an actual serious run later. I mean, I gotta wait for a text from work to do some stuff real quick. Anyway, um... I'm going to go ahead and go through here. We're going to take these last two minutes to do... Oops. We're going to see how far we can get, get in these last two minutes or die at this point. Oh, shoot. Because ah. two minutes isn't that much. left. Gonna try to make it through this last two minutes of stuff. Or one minute actually now. <sighs> anyway, that's my high score for right now on Pitfall. 72,648. Anyway, um, 
See you in the next video. I got some important business to take care of right now.